Gray skies, a little rain moving through the area. Kevin will join me in just a couple of moments with a look at your full forecast. Well, that rain is good for your vegetable garden, and if you have one at home, you know that now is about the time where all of those things really start popping. The tomatoes are starting to ripen and other veggies are already ready for the picking. It's an exciting time too at the Botanical Gardens where their donation farm garden is helping to tackle food insecurity one harvest at a time. I stopped by their new space to check it out. The folks at the Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens know a thing or two about growing things, but this? It's been a learning curve and very exciting. Uh, we're giving so much back to the community by creating this wonderful garden that it just makes it all work in the end. This courtyard used to be used for storage, but last November they turned it into a farm garden. Teams cleaned things up, built raised beds, and installed this massive trellis. A once wasted space is now being put to good use. It gets lots of sun. It's protected on all sides by buildings. Um, it's accessible for our staff and our team. It's also viewable for the public when they walk through the garden so they can get a sneak peek out into the garden and really see these vegetables growing and learn more about food production and all of the amazing partners that we're working with. This is the first growing season for this new garden, though they still use the original garden they started back in 2017. Botanical Garden staff and volunteers weed and water. And this week, they'll start harvesting and delivering the fruits of their labor to the groups that in turn get that fresh produce to people in need. Local organizations like Girard Place, serving Buffalo's Bailey Delavan community, one of the poorest in the city and also a food desert. A partnership like the Botanical Gardens is essential for a community like this that has no grocery stores. Uh, public transportation is very expensive. Uh, people will have to walk to a grocery store that could be miles away. This year they're on track to grow enough vegetables for 13,000 servings. It's, it's not a huge space, but we can provide so much just from this, this space and it's just, it's just incredible. Gerard Place hands out the veggies to supplement food pantry items from their own distributions. This to me is about community. It's about thinking beyond your own organization and what your organization can do. And the Botanical Gardens looks to the community for suggestions on what to grow. This year, it's tomatoes, spinach, and kale. And culturally appropriate produce like hot peppers, collard greens, and bitter melon, just to name a few. We've also been really thoughtful how we grow them. So we're growing a lot of a certain item instead of a whole bunch of little crops. So it really makes it more efficient on our end to be able to care for you know just a few different crops rather than a whole bunch. Um, and then it's more meaningful and it's more impactful. And get this, Gerard Place also has a chef that teaches culinary arts classes to show people how to cook with those fresh ingredients and to encourage them to try new types of veggies. The Botanical Gardens also partners with Groundwork Market Garden and the Massachusetts Avenue Project, or MAP.